This is a stimulus update and daily news report. Got some important updates to share with you. President Biden signs the big bill, avoiding a big disaster. Job report came out and numbers were actually a lot better than expected. I'll let you know what President Biden had to say about that. When it comes to stimulus, January 3rd is a crucial date for those hoping for another stimulus check. I'll explain why. And there are several different stimulus checks going out worth up to $2,000. I'll give you the details on that and some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. If you appreciate the fact that this fast paced updates, hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more daily straight to the point updates on matters that financially matter to you. So let's get into it here. President Biden signs bill averting rail worker de strike despite lack of paid sick days. So President uh, Joe Biden signed a bill into law making a rail strike illegal, preventing workers from walking off the job weeks before the holiday season. Congress intervened as the threat of a strike loomed, but did not pass the paid sick leave provisions workers sought. So originally it was passed in the House, then the Senate, then President Biden signed it. I thought the whole thing was for the sick leave, and the workers and the companies had until December 9th to reach an agreement before they vowed to strike, which the industry estimated would cost U.S. Two billion dollars per day. So I thought the whole thing was that they wanted the sick pay in there, but it wasn't passed with it. So I think things are good. Uh, what was said here, President Biden said, the bill I'm about to sign ends a difficult rail dispute and helps our nation avoid what, without a doubt, would have been an economic catastrophe at a very bad time in the calendar, especially right before the holiday season. Uh, when it comes to Stimulus. So stimulus update. January 3rd is a crucial date for hoping for another stimulus check. Here's why. So when it comes to a stimulus check, there are some big changes going on. Uh, what, say, what it's saying here is if another payment comes in any form, it'll likely be, it'll happen before January 3rd. The reason why is because on January 3rd, the new Congress is sworn in and Republicans will take control of the House of Representatives. So we're going to have a split Congress with the Republicans running the House, the Democrats running the Senate, which means there's going to be a lot of gridlock, which also means that if the Democrats wanted to give out a stimulus check, they're no longer going to have control of the House and they're going to have to have work with the Republicans, which is very unlikely for a federal level stimulus check. So basically, according to this article, what it's saying is that if there is a stimulus check to go out on a federal level, it'll have to be before January 3rd, before uh, the new Congress is sworn in. Is it possible? Uh, so is another check possible before January 3rd? I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't think so, despite what this article is saying, that a federal stimulus check could happen before January 3rd. It is very unlikely, especially if no one has spoken about it yet. Uh, no one's saying that they're on board with it. So that's what this is saying. I just want to uh, give you the facts and let you know what's going on there. And then seven final stimulus and tax refund payments worth up to $2,000 being sent out in the new year and how to get them. So I'll go over the different states. Uh, yeah, one of them is paying up to $2,000 to uh, low-income people here. So California giving out those $200 to $1,050 checks. Those are still going out through January. Colorado giving out $750 for individuals, $1,500 for couples. Uh, those are going out through January as well. And then New Jersey giving one-time payments up to $500. Uh, we'll start rolling out for eligible residents in December. And basically uh, for a married couple and two dependents, it's saying you get up to $2,000. Uh, so for any family of four, it looks like a $2,000 check could be given out that way. Then Idaho is giving out $75 or 12% of 2020 Idaho taxes. Pennsylvania giving out $650 but some uh, those who qualify for supplemental rebates can receive up to $975, and the applications for that is until December 31st. Also talking about how Governor Tom Wolf has called for the $2,000 checks for Pennsylvanians, but still no luck with that. South Carolina, $800 checks uh, are going out uh uh, still, at the, if you pass the deadline, it could go out through March 23rd, and I actually got this check.
So I live in South Carolina and I got a check in the mail from the government and I didn't fully read it and I just see $800. I'm like, oh man, I owe $800. I'm just so used to bills and stuff. And so I just kind of skimmed it. I'm like, why do I owe $800? And then I unfold the paper and it's actually a check for $800. So that was a nice surprise. So yeah, the South Carolina $800 checks, those are going out. And then Virginia, rebate of $250 and $500 uh, there. And then, uh, yeah, so that's it for those checks going out through December and January. And when it comes to what is going to be done, so I mentioned that something has to be done before January 3rd or what could be done after January 3rd with the new Congress. Take a look at what they have planned for that. I look forward to it. I I'm just curious, politics of the day though, um, what do you think, with the Dems in the minority, is in the realm of possibility in terms of what, like you, what, what would you would like to accomplish moving forward? Well, I think we're going to see a closely divided house, which is what we've had this Congress, yeah. and yet we've still been able to deliver things. So I'm going into this Congress with the same mindset I went in when Democrats were in charge, which is I want to get things done for the people of California. And we have real challenges in our economy as well as overseas. And so what I've seen firsthand in my own committee that I chair is we are continuing to work together just like we did before, even as we prepare to hand over the majority to Republicans. So I'm optimistic. My duty to do oversight doesn't change whether Democrats or Republicans are in the White House or in charge of Congress. It's a commitment to the American people that I'm going to deliver on. So what are your thoughts? Is that enough to help out the country? Is the new Congress going to get things done? Let me know your thoughts on that. And then payrolls and wages blow past expectations flying in the face of Fed rate hikes. So uh, Non-farm payrolls increased 263,000 for the month, while the unemployment rate was at 3.7, the Labor Department report on Friday, and the payrolls uh, payrolls number was well above 200,000 uh, estimate, while the unemployment rate was in line. And average hourly earnings jumped 0.6% for the month, double the estimate, and 5.1% annually versus the 4.6%. Uh, estimation. So things slightly getting better slowly. Uh, you can see here, here's the monthly job creation. So you can see it's kind of been stagnant. July was big, I guess, tourist season and all that. And uh, but yeah, so still slightly low, but slightly getting better, as you can see in this chart right here. Take a look at what President Biden has to say. And our economy continues to grow. The economic report, the GDP is up even more than it was previously thought. We continue to create jobs, lots of jobs. And today, we've learned that the economy added 263,000 jobs in November. And we've now created 10.5 million jobs since I took office, more than any administration in history at this point in the presidency. And 750,000 of them are domestic manufacturing jobs made in America. Unemployment rate remains near an all-time 50-year low, 3.7 percent. And wages for working families, I want to say this again, wages for working families, in fact, over the last couple of months have gone up, up. These wage increases are larger than the increase in inflation during that same period of time. And so we're in a position now where we're here, things are moving. They're moving in the right direction. As we go into the holiday season, Here's what this all means. The Americans are working. The economy is growing. Wages are rising faster than inflation. And we've avoided a catastrophic rail strike. It means our plan to build the economy from the bottom up and the middle out. You're tired of hearing me say that, but it's working. And the wealthy are still doing very well while the middle class and the poor are having a shot. So what are your thoughts there? President Biden uh, saying that the economy is getting better and better. Is it true? Are you feeling the economy getting better with your personal financial situation? Let me know down in the comments below. Have things gotten a little bit better or are they still just as bad as they were from the beginning? Should there be more financial aid for low-income people? Let me know your thoughts on that. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hey guys, how are you doing? I just want to say something just quick for you. I just want to say that be humble and do the things that you always been wanting to do. And the things that you have not been 
just leave that behind. And also, be be grateful what you have. Be 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 what you want. Be what you be. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of your support. So yeah, I'm staying with some family for a few days. Uh, ankle's still been hurting, so trying to get as much rest and help as I can. Uh, filming in a room, so I apologize if the audio wasn't as good. I actually didn't get a chance to bring my film equipment. Uh, so just kind of doing it on the fly here, but still wanted to give you the news. Uh, hope you have a great rest of your weekend. If you want to check out any of my other videos, my other channels, click right up here. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.